What's up internet? Ito yung cable ng headset ko and mukhang galit yung upuan ko sa headset ko kasi palagi niyang sinasagasaan yung cable. Fortunately, Asus lent us a wireless headset, the ROG Strix Go 2.4 and it's very sleek and very nice to use. First things first, installation was super straightforward. It does come with a USB Type-C receiver, but it does come with an adapter to plug into the more mainstream USB socket, and it's literally plug and play. When I plugged the receiver in, my PC detected it, and a couple of minutes later, everything was good to go. No muss, no fuss. Two features for me stand out about the Go 2.4, and one of them is the range. This thing can really go far as long as you keep in line of sight of the receiver. Even if not in line of sight, it was good enough for me to step to the other room and prepare dinner while listening to music playing from my computer. The range was also good enough for me to actually go to the room right above where I keep my computer. And even though the room is one floor higher, I was still able to receive sound as if I were in the same room as the receiver. So range is very good with line of sight and not bad even if not in line of sight. So the promise of wireless with the Go 2.4 is real. You can really kind of wander around with this thing. If you do wander out of range, the audio will keep playing off your computer and then it will automatically reconnect once makabalik ka within range. So no need to fuss with anything anymore. Labas ka sa range, mawawala yung sound. Pagpasok mo ulit within range, automatically the sound, you can start hearing sound again in your headset. There's no need for you to do anything else. All right, so we're doing a test of the audio of the Go 2.4. Just wanted to show you just how far you can go. So we're playing a YouTube Hardware Sugar YouTube video, and we actually have two cameras for this test. Yeah, I'm so embarrassing for the shaky cam. So we're backing away slowly from the computer, running the YouTube. Audio is still very good, and just wanted to show you like you can go way the heck out. Malayo mo maabut, malayo maabutan mo, and the audio will still be fine. Here we're moving from the outside of the home office into the kitchen living room. I want to make sure we don't have a bang ko. Audio is still good. And you notice we're still in line of sight of the receiver. The doors open. You can see the computer still in the background. Oh, quite dark. So this is a good uh, medyo madilim. <laughs> but uh, the audio is still perfect and this is a good maybe 40 feet away from the computer in the still running the YouTube channel. So pag naka line of sight ka, ang layo talaga nung range niya. But if you just break line of sight, let's tago tayo dito sa likod ng stairs, ngayon wala nang audio. Wala nang audio because we have broken line of sight. Pero balik ka lang sa line of sight and the audio starts. Yun. So, really, as long as you have line of sight, the range is actually quite good. Going back to the home office, where the video is still running. The second standout feature is the integrated AI-enabled noise filtering. And it sounded like marketing hype at first, pero sinubukan ko talaga siya. So here you can see I recorded audio for my iPhone with a fan in the background. The fan has very noticeable noise. But at the same time, I'm also recording on the Go 2.4. And you can really tell the microphone by itself filtered out everything. You, you can't hear the fan at all. So the built-in noise cancellation of the 2.4 really works. And it was really helpful for me kasi sa labas ng bahay ko ngayon, may road construction. At hindi lang yung tipong adding new paint. As in talaga sinisira yung daan. But any recordings I do, you can't hear any noise even from the work outside because of the noise cancellation feature of the Go 2.4. Just to demonstrate the AI cancelling function of the headset, we're gonna start recording and we're gonna show you the audio just from the iPhone camera. So you can hear the, put a fan in the background and you know, Typical fan sa atin, medyo malaki, medyo maingay. And I am recording audio. You're gonna hear like two clips. The audio recorded by the Go 2.4 and then the audio recorded by the iPhone. So dito sa 2.4, you notice the sound of the fan is really muffled. It, you can't hear it basically. Pero dito sa iPhone, rinig na rinig. And so that's the built-in AI technology in action and it works quite well. So on the iPhone version, you can very clearly hear the sound of the fan. It's, it's, 
kind of like you know there's a white noise kind of thing all over the audio it's not very clean but on the audio using the go 2.4 recorded by the go 2.4 there's none of that it's just really my voice and so i mean that's a pretty big fan and the audio from that would be annoying if i were doing a live stream or things like that but the go 2.4 automatically cuts it out Battery life is also excellent. I've been using this thing as my primary driver, so anytime I need sound on my computer, I, I'm using it. Kung manood ng YouTube, kung mag gaming, if for streaming and things like that. And to be honest, I've only had to charge it so far once. And you can really go several days without having to charge this thing. So you can be assured na hindi ka mabibitin. Dalhin mo siya outside of the house, you know, you're running around. And you can be sure na the battery will not die on you quickly. One charge goes a long way. In case you don't want to use the detachable boom mic, then the headset also has a built-in mic which also has the AI noise filtering technology built in. That's one of the things I kind of admire about the ROG brand. It's really like, how can we over-engineer something? Oh, my headset? Okay, it's gonna need a mic. But what if for whatever reason, let's remove the mic that we put it in. Let's just put in another one just to make sure. Para lang sigurado na it can always record if the user needs to. And it's really those kind of premium features and design engineering thought that we've come to expect from ROG. And so since this is ROG, everything is very premium. The headset itself comes with a hard carrying case, perfect because it's meant to be a portable headset. The boom mic is detachable. There's leather on the cup and leather on the headband. The headset frame is metal, very premium. It doesn't feel flimsy. The black finish on the cans actually reminds me of the Motorola Pebble. It's a material that you don't mind, you know, running your fingers over because the texture is not rough, but it's also not super smooth. It's a kind of in-between feel that, you know, um, it looks very elegant, looks very sleek, and it's also very nice to, to the touch. The three buttons are intuitive. You have the volume rocker, you have the media play button, and then you have the switch to turn it from wired mode to wireless mode. The volume rocker also doubles up as a mute button. And you know, after one or two days of using it, you basically don't need to think anymore. It becomes second nature whether you want to pause a YouTube video, whether you want to lower the audio. All of the controls are easy to use and easy to learn. As an on-the-go headset, it makes sense that it comes with a standard 3.5 millimeter jack so that you can use it with other devices. You're using it with your Nintendo Switch, actually, kaya na niya mag USB Type C. But for other devices like a cell phone, the iPad, all of those things, everything worked well with the 3.5 millimeter jack. And that's what's nice about the 3.5 mm. You don't really need to think about it, it just works. Problema, it doesn't work with the new Apple devices because Apple being Apple, as you already know, wala yung 3.5 millimeter jack. But for less fancy hoity toity devices, the Go. 2.4 with its included 3.5 millimeter cord will work fine with most any device. Gaming actually on the 2.4 was actually pretty immersive and I, I'm surprised because I've tried a couple of headsets over the last few months. Pero yung Go 2.4 lang yung sobrang immersive na it's possible for someone to sneak up. Like multiple times, people in my household would come up to me tas di ko sila napansin, tas they're gonna tap me on my shoulder tas biglang nagugulat lang ako kasi I was super into the game. Also because of the audio quality and you know the general immersiveness. You know when you're using the 2.4, so you're kind of cocooned in whatever you're doing. Um, it's the first headset that really shut out the outside world for me. Nilapit yung misis ko, magulat lang ako na katabi ko na pala siya, which speaks to the level of immersion possible with when you use the ROG Go 2.4. My two main gripes about the Go 2.4 both stem, I think, from the fact that it's supposed to be a portable headset. Number one, the head cans are kind of small. My ears are somewhat irregularly shaped. You know, medyo abnormal sila. Um, they're a bit big for the space in the head cans. And so over time, I feel that my ears become a little pinched using the Go 2.4. Although I didn't notice while I was gaming. You know, if you're into something, yun nga, sobrang immersive naman ni Go 2.4. I didn't really notice the discomfort on my ears. But when I was doing other things like chores, yung nga nagluluto ako ng pagkain, dun ko napansin that it's a bit uncomfortable. Sort of when your mind isn't focused on a game and you're just wandering over other things. I noticed that my ears got a little sore from the pressure of the cans on the, you know, on the borders of, of my ear. My second observation about the Go 2.4 is that this is not a break your eardrum headset. 
on one hand, that's a good thing. Audio quality is very good. Everything is reproduced well. Again, it functions well in game. The sensory cues, whether left or right, if there's gunfire behind you. This is very subjective and it could just be that I've gotten used to the sound quality on the other headset that I use for watching TV shows and movies. I have a Sennheiser wireless headset for that. The GOAT 2.4 has very good audio quality. It's just that sometimes I just wanted a little more oomph, more richness, more detail maybe in the way it reproduced voices in particular. Very minor thing, didn't really bother me. But it was, it was just something that was hard to shake off while I was using it as my primary driver. So all in all, a very competent headset. I enjoyed using it. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's best to use it like it's intended as a portable headset. So something you take out of your house, something that you can rely on even if you're hours or even days, you know, you're on vacation or things like that. That's where the Go 2.4 would really shine. Although the range itself is also pretty good. That's why I didn't mind using it for my daily driver on my own personal desktop. And so when the time comes, sometime soon hopefully, when we can all get out without our masks and we can travel again, we can even go back to work again, we can take the MRT again, the Go 2.4 would be a reliable device to use in those situations. Except wag lang sa MRT kasi sigurado mananakaw to. Don't wear this on the MRT. It looks too nice. It performs too good. It's a damn good headset. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans, Asher Gabe Anima Mundi, Mark Anthony Palanya, Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, D. Pry Shon, ITX Addict. Your support literally makes the channel possible. And for everyone else, please keep watching those ads. Thanks and stay safe.